Hello, this is another Mimikatz video and I want to show the, the skeleton command. So the skeleton command uh, uses uh, skeleton, skeleton keys. Uh, skeleton key is uh, keys used by locksmiths that can open uh, many locks. So the ID here is uh, on this domain controller and because this works only on domain controllers is that Mimikatz uh, patches the code of the domain controller that does uh, the password uh, verification so that you can use one password to log in to uh, all uh, accounts. So let me show you first here when I log on to this machine. So I have the administrator password here on this uh, domain controller and I type um, the skeleton key password first to show you that it doesn't work. Hmm. So this is uh, Mimikatz, that's uh, the password for uh, the skeleton function. And if I use that password and it doesn't work, this is not the correct password. The correct password here is a uh, password like this, a complex password. <laughs> and I, uh, I log on. And then I'm going to use Mimikatz to inject the code for a skeleton key. So I run Mimikatz as an administrator. I enable the debug privilege because we need that to access the LSA process. And then I issue the skeleton command like this. And now so the code of Active Directory um, here, the domain controller has been patched into memory so that when I type the password now, Mimikatz, when I log on with any ac uh, account that I will be granted access. So I can close Mimikatz and I can sign out like this. And now I can type Mimikatz as a password, as you can see here. And I can log on with this password like this. So that is the, the skeleton password uh, in French, uh, the, the passepartout. And if I log out, and I log in with the actual password. This, of course, works too. Password, of course, I can log on with that one. The, the skeleton key uh, installs a backdoor into memory. And it is only into memory, because if we uh, reboot the domain controller, then this code is gone and we can no longer use this. So let me reboot this. Let's say that it's an unplanned reboot. Okay, we reboot it. And now we try to log in with Mimikatz as passwords. This no longer works because that uh, code for the skeleton key is no longer into memory.